Hi, this is Cherish with FresnoWeddings.net. I'm in Sanger, California at Wolf Lakes Park for a wedding with about 500 people attending. So I'm looking forward to sharing this wedding with you. I hope you enjoy it. This is what the guests are going to see when they arrive. They've got this nice little um, welcome area with some pictures of the couple's family, the bride and groom. Looks like some engagement photos. And um, this beautiful, I, I, I want to call it a tree, with some beautiful flowers on it. Real pretty. The sun is kind of harsh right now. But um, we got something here. I'll have to read it to you because it's kind of hard to show you. It says, in accordance with ancient traditions, couples who were married by a lake provided guests with pebbles to send well wishes to the bride and groom. In lieu of this tradition, please write your thoughts and well wishes for the newlyweds to fill their home with love as they begin their lives together as husband and wife. So they've got this barrel here of some rocks or pebbles, and I guess they want their guests to write a little message on a rock and put it in this. Isn't that cute? That's very unique and cute. These are Jabari chairs. They always add a nice, elegant touch to any wedding reception. Again, they're still setting up for this wedding, so the candles are not lit yet. I'll show you this same table, or same, at least a similar table later, when everything's lit, if possible. Okay, this is the couple's wedding favor for each of their guests. I'm guessing there's a chocolate truffle in there. And one of these is placed on each one of the guests' charger. The gold plate is a charger plate. Here's another table with a different colored tablecloth, table linen. And just a little variation in the centerpiece with crystals hanging from this tree here. This is how the couple has organized their seating, I guess, seating list. They've got it very organized. They've got the couple's or family's names written here, and next to their names is their table number. They've got two of these because this is a rather large wedding. Here is the couple's wedding cake, and it looks like it's a buttercream which is fine. The weather's not terribly hot today. For outdoor weddings, um, fondant tends to stand up a little better in the heat as far as melting. Looks like they've got the monogram design there. And the couple just chose to put pictures of their parents' wedding day uh, next to the cake. Okay, this is kind of a pan view here of the reception. As you can see, um, they're amongst the trees here outdoors. This is going to be beautiful at night when everything's lit up. Lots of candles. Gorgeous. Okay, this is an area where the guests are going to be sent to first for the reception where they're going to have cocktails and hors d'oeuvres. And as you can see, they've got these taller tables set up here. Guests have not arrived yet. In fact, the workers are still working on setup right now, but everything seems to be going on schedule. We've got these cocktail tables here for the guests that want to just stand around. This is real cute in the same area where the cocktail hour is meant to, to take place. Um, they got these barrels set up for guests as well. 
sort of like a little cocktail table. Just a cute little rustic look to it. Looks like the couple has um, a lemonade table or a lemonade station set up for their guests. They're still kind of putting things together here. They get some ice, making everything easy for everybody. Okay, they have lit all the candles on the tables. The bride, groom, and um, their guests are down at the area I showed you earlier where cocktails and hors d'oeuvres were going to be enjoyed. So um, some of the employees here are doing some of their finishing touches with, uh, like for example, lighting the candles, which you can see here. The lighting is going to be absolutely gorgeous tonight. Okay, this is where the bride and groom are going to be seated. This is actually their setting. And this is going to be the view that they will see from their head table during the reception when all the guests get here. Gorgeous. And here's a guest's eye view of the head table. And you can see the head table is illuminated a little bit with some special lighting. Really makes a difference and really creates a mood for your guests. Very relaxing. Here that is again, a little bit closer. Beautiful. And this is a third area that is still being set up. The guests and bride and groom are all down, still where um, the uh, hors d'oeuvres are at and the cocktails. This is actually where they're gonna be dancing later. I'm going to show you around a little bit. They've got some tables, just a few tables for the guests to sit at here. Up there, I will have to show you this later because it's not set up, is a dessert area or a dessert station that will be set up. This is in the dancing area again. They've got these nice uh, drapings along the side here. Makes it a little more romantic for the dancing. And in the dancing area, this is what the centerpieces look like. They've got some chocolate colored linens and um, the centerpieces have some vases and rocks in the bottom with some water and you can see some flowers there floating and a floating candle on top. Okay, here is the wedding cake with flowers added, which is usually what um, takes place later on in the day. Earlier I showed it to you. Um, I had been told that that was how it was going to be. But I thought I'd check back and as suspected, flowers were added, which always makes a nice difference to the cake. Very lovely. Hello. Okay, as you can see, all the guests are seated at the, re at the uh, reception. And the bride and groom have yet to be announced. But I understand that they're going to be announced, they're going to do their first dance, and then they're going to be seated at their table. Okay, they have some live entertainment at their reception. I've listened to them play. And um, what is your name? My name is Boris Nixon. What's the name of your company? Arpeggio Strings of Fresno, California. Okay, nice. And how long are you guys playing for the couple today? tonight? Uh, we'll be playing for about another 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so you played about maybe a couple hours yes. so far? All right, great. Enjoy your evening. Thank you.